everybody. I got another letter in the post. Makes and takes, inspired by nature design. Really good guy over there, Phil, sent me this. He sent me the sticker, calling card. He actually even put a little piece of cardboard so that the sticker wouldn't get bent. Great idea. And uh, like I said, Phil over at Makes and Takes. I'll put his link down below. Maybe I'll put a little thing up here. I'm going to proudly display his sticker up next to these other awesome people. Ooh, that's a strong one. Let's see, we'll put them right here. Bang! Makes and takes. Check them out. Hey everybody, welcome back. I have this piece of cedar laying around my shop for a long time now. I'm going to go ahead and try to make something pretty cool out of this. I'm hoping to get some kind of a, a vase out of here. It's pretty big. I don't think I'm going to use the whole thing, obviously, but let's see what we could do. Straighten these out a little better so now we can get it up on the lathe and try to start making something out of it man this is this is gonna this is beautiful wood this is gonna be exciting Surprise, let's let's see if we can start tearing this thing up. I wish you could smell this shop. Woo, it smells good, baby. Alright, we made this tenon. Let's flip it over and see. If we can get it centered again. Alright, I got the, um, the rough shape here. That's going to be the top, I think. This is going to be the bottom. I got some deep bark in here. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to fill it with some uh, uh, Millie putt or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I got it roughly sanded. I'm going to try to maybe mix up some Millie putt or something, put it in there. So I'll bring you back when that's ready to go. So I'm going to fill those voids in that vase with some milliput. I have a tiny bit of white left and I have maybe a quarter of a tube of the terracotta. I think the terracotta is going to be too close, the colors are going to be too close. I really want to do the white. So I'm going to just make up the rest that I have here and hope that it's enough. But uh, we'll see. For you guys that never use Millie Putt, it's pretty cool. It comes in different colors, and it's just, there's like a hardener. Oh man, I hope that's, and the, and the color. And you just do 50-50, cut off even pieces. This looks kind of yellow here. I don't think this is going to be any good. But you just got to mix this together. Really, really good. Knead it, knead it. Need it. So you got to keep mixing this together. But the white is probably the hardest because you can't tell when it's mixed. The colored ones, you know, you'll have like a marble mixture of the harder and the, and the color. 
until it's mixed and then it turns into the color that it's supposed to be. But the white starts off white and ends white, so you don't really know. Anyway, you gotta mix it and knead it. It's better off doing it too much than not enough. yellow <laughs> anyway so let's go over to the vase and start filling it in Four hours for this to dry and we'll reshape it and cut it and see what it looks like here is the next day I left the heater on in the shop but um, this milli put it's hard but it's not a hundred percent rock hard like it's supposed to be so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that let that dry a little more I got this crack so I waxed it, I don't know if you could see, I waxed it, I'm going to fill it with some CA glue. But this is going to end up being a two part series. So I'm going to let this dry a couple more days. Because my shop's cold. And then um, when I do the finishing on it, I'll, I'll, I'll make a second video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.